Hey guys, it's Robin, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make super easy berry coconut smoothie pops. So these are a great snack for kids and for adults. I love them, my kids love them too. So I'll show you how easy it is. Let's go ahead and get started. For this recipe, you're basically gonna need frozen berries. Any berries will do. I often do just strawberries, but here today I have a mix of strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. And you'll need full fat coconut milk. Um, definitely go for the full fat. It's good for the kids to get that healthy fat in their body. And pure maple syrup. So this is not like Aunt Jemima. This is grade A pure maple syrup. This is gonna be to sweeten it up. And then totally optional, but I like to put in my collagen powder, which mine is from Vital Proteins. This is a favorite brand of mine. It's totally flavorless, but it adds that collagen and protein, which is, I add um, about half of a normal dose for my kiddos, and if it's for me, then I give the full dose because it's good for your skin, your hair, your nails, and your joints. So, let's go ahead and get started. You can make this in a blender or a food processor. I'm gonna use my Vitamix. And you're basically gonna start with two cups of frozen berries. Woo. So, like I said, pick your kids or your favorite berry and it'll taste great no matter what. So two cups of that and then about a cup and a half of coconut milk and kind of depends if you're using a food processor or a um, blender. You may have to add just a little bit more as you go. So I'm gonna do about a cup and a half. I feel like I need a little bit more when I'm using a blender. Okay. I'm just gonna pour that in. And I'm sure you could also use almond milk in this kind of thing, but um, I, my kids eat kind of a lot of almond products, so I like to mix it up and do coconut milk here. And then I'm gonna add just about a scoop of the collagen powder. And again, totally optional, but I like to sneak it in to things from time to time. And then we're gonna want about two tablespoons of maple syrup. So two tablespoons to sweeten it up. And a little bit goes a long way, which is why I love using maple syrup as a sweetener. And then you're just gonna go ahead and blend it up. These I got off of Amazon and I really like them. So they're silicone ice pop, make, uh, ice pop makers. <laughs> and my kids always want popsicles in the summer and I like to try to make sure they're healthy and this makes it super easy. You can do this, you can pour in leftover smoothies, whatever you have on hand. And then these ones are already made. You just lay them in your freezer and they freeze and they're good to go. So they're kind of like Otter Pops. Remember Otter Pops? But they're a healthier way to do it and both my kids love them and so do I. So basically, you can just pour right into the mold and leave just a little bit of extra space because when it freezes, it'll expand a little bit. And then it has these little handy lids and you're just gonna close it on. And voila, you lay them in your freezer, let them freeze overnight and they're ready for your kids. My favorite thing is to just it's like afternoon treat, right? After naps, go out in the backyard, give them one of these. I know they're getting something healthy and to them, they think it's a treat. So it's a win-win. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you want more quick and easy kitchen tips, be sure to click the link below so I can send you my free weekend meal planning and meal prep guide. This guide takes the guesswork out of it and shows you how I food prep and meal plan for my kids and myself in a way that doesn't take all weekend long. So sign up below and I'll send it to you right away.